Hi, it's me, Jane. Today is day five of beta. This is one of those days where I've kind of been out and about and had some things that I had to do. So, um, had a luncheon with a group of ladies that I normally eat with once a month during some certain months. We don't meet June, July, and August, but it's uh, the group that I told you about, I think a long, a while ago, about um, it's our life luncheon, which is lunches for everyone, but men, just a bunch of ladies. We meet once a month, and we eat, and catch up on what's going on, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I've told you in the past with Prayer Shawl, many times I'm given an item that they need to be finished, that someone has started and, you know, they just need someone to finish it. Um, today is one of those days where I finished an item and I'm going to show you it. It's an afghan. Here it is. And all I had to finish was this amount right here. That's all. For it to be finished. Real pretty roses. Uh, rose colors. That's all that needed to be finished. Um, this was an item from someone's um, mother who had um, worked on this item and has since passed away. And so they had wanted someone to finish it, so I finished it. They've donated it to Prayer Shawl, so it'll get washed and go out with um, with some of the other items for Prayer Shawl. Now, this item was, like I said, donated. The yarn that was that the person had used. was called Tapestry Rose. Now I'm going to show you this label. You can see how old that is. Lion Brand. It's very old. <laughs> but that's all that was with it for someone to finish. So I took it on to finish it. Got it done. Now, one of the other things is, as I was leaving the prayer shawl, the uh, pastor asked, there were two of us that were walking out together. She'd asked the other lady if there was something she could make for men, and she had said, well, there's not enough there to do anything, which I agree, there's not a whole lot here. It's this bag. It has some gray in it, and couple of different shades of brown, black, and uh, kind of oatmeal-y oatmeal color right here, off tan. This one is a chunky yarn, so I think if it, I think it'll make part of a men's hat. I'll have to add something to it or hold two strands together, you know, to make it kind of bulky to add into that to make a hat. But the rest of this, I think I can turn into something. And I was thinking, I have some browns, have some off-whites, some oatmeal scraps and things, some kind of rusty orange colors that I think I can use to um, add to that. So I was thinking possibly an afghan, but I don't know how if I have enough for an afghan. And you know, I don't want to buy any yarn for the next three months. Yeah, too late. I already did it. <laughs> this morning, I went over to one of my favorite places, which I've told you about quite often, Scraps and Skanks. And tomorrow, I will be uploading the video that I took there. Dottie was gracious enough to allow me. She's the manager of the store. She was uh, gracious enough to allow me to do some video. And of course, I've got its bits and pieces because they were pretty busy when I was in there. 
and I try not to get anyone else's faces in it other than people who work there, which sometimes is pretty difficult. So um, it'll be kind of spliced together. And then there were some areas where there were a lot of people, um, a lady with, I think, two of her kids and, you know, a woman with a stroller or baby. So I decided, well, I'll just take a couple of still shots here that I can get without getting them into the video. And I'll be adding that, posting it up tomorrow. But the funny thing is after that, I went to Michael's. Now I went to Michael's because I needed to get another item for the yarn giveaway that I have mentioned. And um, they happened to have it in this time when I was there last time, they did not have it in, so I did purchase that item to add in. And that is one of those mystery items that I will be showing you the day that I announce the winner. Yeah, you're going to get two balls of yarn. You're going to get some other things, but it's a mystery until I announce who the winner of the drawing is on the 10th, April the 10th. Anyway, while I was there at Michael's, there's there was a gal standing there and we were looking at some of the Karen cakes and she'd asked me if I um, knew where, if they had any of the Karen yar uh, cotton yarn cakes in yet. And I told her no. And she said, well, I keep seeing all this stuff, you know, online. And I said, yeah, but you know, here, what I've noticed when I see things online, it generally takes two to three weeks to get to this area. So I'd probably check back in about a week, two weeks. Um, you know, and she, and she lives in State College. We kind of chatted up a little bit. And the reason we started talking is because we'd been at Scraps and Skeins, same time, looking through stuff while I was videotaping. And, and I did pick up a few more yarns, uh, scrap balls, you know, 50 cent balls, um, for some other items that I want to finish off. And that is mostly the hats for the babies at the hospital. Now, I had someone ask me about those hats when I get that yarn, you know, do I do anything to it afterwards? Yes, after I've made the hats from any of the yarns that I get from Scraps and Skeins, I do wash those hats. Um, only because I don't know if there's animal dander in it or not. Lots of times you can tell when you're um, working with it. But some of the short dander, you really can't tell because it's a yarn that has sort of halo. It may blend into the halo. Um, so what I try to do is make sure that I get that washed, at least with some baby draft, so that hopefully it'll wash out any kind of allergens that the, uh, the babies may possibly have. Most of the hats that I send over to the hospital for the baby are going to be acrylic. And the reason being is because animal fibers, you never know when a baby is going to be allergic to them. So the hospitals usually do not want anything that has on animal fibers on it. Um, the other thing is they don't want things that come from a, a smoking home, as in not a smoking hot home, but you know, a, ha a home where someone smokes. Um, babies have some you know, funny allergies. Some babies are allergic to it, some aren't. Um, I know my husband and I are both allergic to tobacco smoke. Um, makes me sneeze like crazy when I'm around it or around someone who has been around someone who is a heavy, a heavy smoker. Because heavy smokers don't realize that when they're out and about, if they're a real heavy smoker, the person standing next to them can smell it. Same way with pot smokers, you know, I know you've all been around someone that you're like, what is that? And it's usually either a heavy smoker or a pot smoker. So, <laughs> just thought I'd throw it out there. But anyway, tomorrow we'll do a little thing through scraps and skeins. Tomorrow's my usual quilting day. I will film a little bit of the quilting day and then I think I'll go into the scraps and skeins video first ended up with the quilting um, because in the afternoon I'm busy all afternoon so they'll get uploaded tomorrow night. The normal pack 
podcast is going to wait until Saturday where I will film it and upload it then. Just because, like I said, the first week of every month is really busy for me. I don't think there's a day that I'm at home, you know, hardly at all. So, you know, that's part of the reason I'm going to wait till the uh, Saturday to film the regular podcast. And then, of course, I'll try to get back on the schedule of doing it on Tuesday evenings, Tuesday afternoons, or Monday. You know, getting those Monday or Tuesday each week. With that, I'm going to close. I know the... The lighting is a little off today. We've kind of got some overcast clouds. I've tried to move my light forward, backwards. Uh, Hopefully it won't drive you too batty. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.